Hey guys, it's MJ again. This will be another quick video. I'm going to show you all the macros that I use for Warrior. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Now, I have a lot of macros that I use for all the different classes. I'll try to go over as many as I can. So this is my overpower macro. As you can see, what it does is I have sharpened blade. So when I overpower, it casts my sharpened blade. So if I'm if I'm on a target, I charge in, press my overpower twice, get it really buffed, and then boom, hit him with the mortal strike, and it get, hits him with the sharpen. So it boosts the damage of that, reduce the healing. This hits for about six or seven K, especially the build I run at double procs. I can get a 14 K out of it. It's really nice. I use a blade storm cancel macro pretty simple these right here this was like a, a on use thing that I used when I had it I don't have it anymore so I can delete that my Colossus smash as well I had another on use thing inside of it I like to macro on use abilities like as I'll show you an example. If I go to dungeons, say Theater Pain, this trinket right here, if I get this Grim Treat, Grim Codex, what I would do is I would take this Grim Codex, I would macro it in with my Smash. So when I charge and smash, it would pop Warbreaker and that trinket at the same time. It's really good. My burst cooldown right here what I use is I have deadly calm if I'm using avatar I have sweeping strikes on it because normally what I like to do is I'll show you right here I'm gonna just pop this this is gonna charge deadly calm and sweeping strikes all together so it lets me four of these in a row my condemns so I'll show you big burst I smash and then one, two, three, four. And as you can see, big damage right there on the opener, 10K. It's really nice. I do use a intervene mouse over macro. I have my defensive stance tied to that. And yeah, I'll show you what that does when I do that. So this right here is a weak aura that popped up and as you can see I'm in the regular dance DPS stance but if I press my intervene macro so I just mouse over someone and I mind set to scroll down on the mouse wheel I intervene to him and it automatically switches me into defense stance so anytime I need to go to defense stance or switch stance I just scroll down and my scroll up is my charge I usually like to keep my mobilities on that Another one I use is almost all my abilities like that I need to get off if they proc. I will use a cancel blade storm or a macro. So that's pretty much when I'm blade storming. As you can see, I just press it, it cancels it, and I go straight into that. I usually I don't use a pummel one. I mean you could, but I'm I I usually just use one or two and I just press that button because you still have the stop cancel in between it. Ignore pain. This is my prop macro. So I'll go ahead and show you what that does. This is really handy as well. If you ever run prop. So all, all I do is I'm going to press my ignore pain and it's gonna it will shout first so I press it twice it will shout and then it will ignore pain back to back like that it's really nice I, I don't play fury too much but so I don't really have any macros on fury 
I think that's pretty much all the macros that I use. I do use a racial macro and I have my war banner tied to that. So when I press my arcane turret, it will also drop war banner. I'm not in a war mode so you won't see it do it, but it does both those at the same time. If you're a blood elf, it's really helpful for facing paladins, you can remove the bop. If you're facing a druid, you can take away the thorns. Really nice. I am vent there, so I use this at cursor macro for my door shadows. So all I do, I can just place my cursor where I want to go and it will work. I also use a leap, heroic leap macro, same thing. You put your cursor where you want it and you don't have to press it twice and you just leap to where you want to leap. Those are pretty much all the macros I use for my warrior. Uh, I forgot one more and that's my charge hamstring. So pretty much what this does is charge. So as you can see, it will charge. And if I hit it again, it will put hamstring on the target. So if I'm in range, I can just hamstring. And if I'm not in range, I'll charge. But that's literally all the macros that I use. I hope that helps you. I will put most of them in the description so you can just copy and paste them into your macro.